Hi, my name is Emily Nielsen, and we're working on cooking lab number eight, the raw foods version. So today I'm going to be making a blueberry lavender smoothie, and I have all the ingredients that were required on the recipe, so I'm going to give you a look here. I've got a cup of organic spinach, pretty tightly packed, some unsweetened almond milk that we always have on hand. We were able to find some blueberries at Fred Meyer, my organic food grade lavender flowers from our local food store, some vanilla from Costco. I love that I can get this local raw honey also at Costco, and then a little bit of salt. I'm going to be using my trusty Ninja. It's pretty old, but it still works good. One of the first things I'm going to do, even though there's not a lot of prep that needs to happen for this lab, is that I am going to soak my blueberries in my preferred cleaning solution, which I use actually, <laughs> appropriately enough, a lavender Castile soap, um, just a few drops to some cold water, and I like to do all of my um, fruits and vegetables, give them a little soak before um, we use them, especially since these aren't ones that I grew myself. So, while those have a little bath, I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients to my Ninja, and we'll be back in a minute. So I've gone ahead and added all the ingredients besides the blueberries to my Ninja. I've got my cup of spinach, my tablespoon of lavender, tablespoon of raw honey, I've got a teaspoon of vanilla, and just a little pinch of salt, plus the almond milk there down in the bottom. I like to do the liquid at the bottom, especially because of the way my Ninja is designed, it pushes everything down. So the, the firmer, more difficult to blend ingredients like the spinach, or if I'm using fr if something frozen, I tend to put towards the top. I go went ahead and let the blueberries soak for about 15 minutes and rinsed them off really well. There was a few yucky ones, so I picked those guys out. And then there was a few stems, so we're about ready to add this all together and see what we've got. Hmm. Since I'm my own cameraman today and I'm not very good at pouring blueberries one-handed out of a colander and a strainer, I decided to turn the video off as opposed to make a huge mess. What I did discover though was that the blueberries and the spinach without being blended were a little too big to fit in my Ninja. So I blend it a little bit and as you can see it's compressed nicely and I can add the rest of the blueberries now. Look, they fit perfect. So if you can see, look, <laughs> they fit perfect. And then we'll blend them up and give it a taste. Well, the vote is in. I really like it. I'm surprised because I'm not a huge lavender fan, and so I think the next time I make it, I definitely would add a little bit less lavender and err on the side of over blending it because there are a few little chewy bits in it still, and I don't think my kids will love that texture as much. I really love how the spinach just blends right in because it's this beautiful deep blue indigo color and you can't even tell that there's spinach in it, so my kids will uh, definitely be fooled by that one. I personally can't eat too many blueberries without getting a little bit of stomach upset, so I think if I wanted to have a big, huge glass of something like this, I would probably try for a different dark fruit. Maybe cherries, like some frozen cherries would be good. And that's the other thing I would probably do different, is I would use frozen berries. Um, since not much, nutrients or anything like that is lost in the freezing process, it would make it more feel like a smoothie. Even though the texture is nice and thick, it's not really cold um, because the really the only refrigerated ingredient I had in it was the spinach and almond milk and they weren't that cold once they got all blended up. So I think I'm going to throw this in the fridge for a few hours, ooh maybe even the freezer, and uh, convince my kids that it's the best thing ever when they get home. The flavors overall balance really good for me. I'll probably add, like I said, a little bit less lavender next time. But it just smells 
as good as it looks. So 